Thanks for tuning we in to another episode of Barbershop and Crew. All the times we yeah. had yeah. together. Yeah. Because of our lives changed. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we will still be <laughs> fresh <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. I need a moment of silence real quick for one Nicholas Chubb. <sighs> Derek, we got to pour one up for Nick. Pour one up for Nick? Is it just me and you? They, they're Steelers fans, yes. But they can still like, nah, out of bro, respect. They're not in this. this is for us, bro. Out of respect, hey, though. Cheers. Make sure you get your face. It, it was in there. Okay. Ghost cheers. Face. Cheers, friend. You take yours first and get yours, and then I'll take mine after. All right, now that I've gotten there, take a shot for no reason. All right, so you guys just put mine (laughs) on display, and I got you. Look at your face. Look at your face. It's gross, dude. So (laughs) go ahead and just let's get into it. Steelers Browns Monday night prime time, twenty six twenty two. Go ahead, Matt. Go off, King. Smile if you wanted one. <laughs> We're all one. I know. Dude, that's how Dante started last week. That episode. is how I started last week. Smile, smile if you wanted one. You already know how it goes, bro. Talking too shit, uh, talking <laughs> shit too much, too early. It'll get you every time. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. What are our thoughts on the game? Go ahead, Matt. Just give me um, one single thought first. Single thought. Just one single thought. I got two. Ahead, it was just, really ugly. Very. TJ Watt is him. I agree. That's all I got. I agree. That's all I got. I mean, like, Matt okay. Canada's a fucking turd. Listen. I agree. Okay, I'm not trying to... This is going to sound like I'm taking away from TJ Watt. But, like, I can't look at that game and be like, that he's him because of that game. I agree with you 100%. TJ Watt is him. But the sack on, uh, like, the one sack he got when Dewan Jones was blocking him. Perfect timing. The scoop and score, I'm just like, eh, it was right there for him. You know what I mean? I'm not, but like, I know I'm sounding like a hater to most people, <laughs> uh, but I'm here to end button that up. TJ Watt well, is him. Clearly, it's a little difficult to pick up a football <laughs> when it's bouncing, so I got to give him some yeah, credit. Yeah, you're right. And I give you that one because we saw a fucking ball bounce from the 50 yard line to the Bro, that was 10. crazy. Damn, I got one of my wife's hair. That thing on. was going all over the place. Hit Najee Harris in the face. I think it hit Shelby Harris in the face. Bro, it hit at least fucking four. Who was five running with it? It got punched out. Um, um, Grant Delpit, I want to say. Delpit, yeah. yeah Pat, Big Pat punched it out, and then somebody went to grab it. It was just lost miserable. it. Hit Najee in the face, then hit somebody else in the, the face, and then went out of bounds. <laughs> shit was wild. It was a really f- fucking crazy game, though. Yeah, it was a lot of ups and downs. Uh, yeah, like, there was a lot of turnovers. It was crazy because that a one lot point, of dumb shit was happening. Like, yeah. I remember at one point looking at Derek and we were on the stream. Uh, shout out to everybody who joined the live stream too. Shout um, out. All 10 of you. Um, 43 views actually. So All 43 of you. Appreciate y'all. You're welcome. Shout out to Troy Palomalu. Um, at uh, one point I looked at Derek and I was like, me and Derek hadn't like really talked or had any energy for like a solid like four or five minutes. And I said, Derek, we're down two. Why are we <laughs> acting like we're down 14? Like me and Derek was down in the dumps at one point. I'm just like, bro. It's a two point game. Like, why are we looking like like man? It was just like this. <clears throat> was it after? Yes. Yeah, I mean, okay. you kind of that, that's really why. what did it. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, tell me what you think about the game. Just go ahead. Listen, you got y'all. Take your moment, man. Go ahead. Go off. Like, uh, y'all, you, you earned it. Go off. There's nothing to go off about. It was no, like our offense really ugly. The whole horrible. game was ugly as hell. Offense is horrible. horrible. Defense is great. We scored two defensive touchdowns. Yeah, you scored more defensive touchdowns than offensive touchdowns. Like, I know you can't. This season, we have two offensive, two defensive. Yeah, just in that game, we had two defensive, That's yeah. one offensive. The craziest thing to me is just, like, obviously you can't erase a side of the ball. Like, we always talk about, like, you can't just take a player from somebody's team. Like, oh, if you never right. had this player, he wouldn't do this. But it's just, like, the offense wasn't there. Like, thank God for your defense. Like, because if, like, if you don't have a – like, let's just say you have a mediocre defense – like, you probably lose that game by 27, 28 points, like, to be honest. Like, obviously, woulda, shoulda, coulda, obviously. But I'm just saying, like, thank God you do have a fucking amazing defense to help you stay in games. But so that's two sides of the ball, though. Like, 
one side can't get it done the other because our fucking offense can't get shit done. So thank God for our defense. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, you see uh, that? Your guys' offense didn't do shit either. Deshaun got a fucking go, got, bro. Uh, touchdown off of uh, that broken play. Yeah, that Jerome Ford 70 yarder. Well, yeah, it wasn't a touchdown, I guess, but it, you got it on the yeah, yeah, We can call touchdown. that the touchdown. The inch yeah. yard yeah. line. Yeah. Did but, you see what the fourth quarter stats were for the Steelers' offense? No, tell me. We were down, down what, five? I think mm-hmm. negative seven yards in 15 minutes. Our defense literally won the game. Oh yeah, absolutely. God. We had negative seven yards the whole 15 minutes. You know, minutes. going in the halftime, you had one rushing yard. Yeah. yeah. Like one rushing yard. Yeah. Now, and I, the thing is, oh, though, I believe it. <laughs> I'm going to give your team a little more credit than that offensively. Don't get me wrong. Your offense did not look good, but like the moment we handed the ball off, there were five white shirts in the backfield. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to give our defense a little more credit and give your offense a little more credit. <laughs> Our defense showed that they are really good. I mean, your like, D-line is crazy. Our D-line like They were saying names, and I'm like, damn, when the fuck did they get that guy? I said the same thing at one point. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. They said one dude. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Uh, what's like, his name that got hurt? Uh, Is it Darius Smith? Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the fuck? You remember when we traded you for him? him I, like, like, <laughs> I like, just forgot, and you know, then I saw him, and I was like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, you remember dude? when Matt Texas was like, yeah, he's washed. I was like, he made it to the Pro Bowl last year. <laughs> Matt was just like, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> but, I mean, our offense is terrible. Just like you guys, your defense is really good. Our defense is really good. So unfortunately, it's just going to be praying for our defenses to lead Shit us to win. It's just ugly as fuck. Yep, Derek, what's your one one takeaway from that game? Or um, I don't want to be that guy and say we lost because Nick Chubb, but say that I shit. Think we lost because we didn't have say Nick Chubb. that shit, bro. Um, that changed the whole trajectory of the game. I don't give a fuck with. And I'm not saying that's like a salty bias Browns. Yeah, thing. no, I mean, I mean, we lost. He was average. Too. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. You lose like like I, Minka's your second best player to me. If you lose TJ Watt, we've seen what the Steelers look like when you lose TJ Watt. Right. What's your record when you don't have him? Aren't you guys like one in seven or something like that? Uh, no, yes, if we were la- up until last season. Last season, yeah, last we season when you missed. Okay. So, like, without your best player, it's like, yeah. what are you supposed to do? Yeah. And Nick Chubb is our offense. He opens up the pass. I mean, game. he was averaging like, six and a half yards a carry. Oh, I mean, bro, he was, he was on pace hurt. for it. He was going for 200 that game. I mean, I'm pretty sure we lost. or I'm, We played that game without shit, probably. We did lose a four lot. Four of, of our players. top eight players. Like, Deontay, that's our number one receiver. Mm-hmm. Out. Cam Hayward. Out. Yep. Number and there was a couple times that uh, out. I don't remember his name, uh, but he got in the backfield and just missed on Deshaun. Obviously, you're like, oh, well, if Cam was here, he would have, but you don't know. But there was a few plays where I'm like, ah, I feel like Cam probably would have gone. And then halfway there. through the game, Minka. Yeah, for out. sure. I mean, ahead, it, he, sorry, made, I he played probably one more drive after – one more drive after uh, Chubb went out, and then he was out. Yeah, because I remember that one when he tried to dive on Jerome. That's when he hurt himself. Yeah, he uh, because Derek was talking about that. I think he did like just like what you said, Derek. I think he, he kicked him in the sternum. <clears throat> like I think he sternum. Yeah, is it like a stomach it was or his chest? One of the two. It was yeah, um, when he dove. It looked like he was about to throw up. Yeah, well, Derek said that happened. The sideline, again. like he went to the hospital last night. Who Minka did X rays and shit, whatever. It was a chest contusion. So like mm. same thing happened yeah, to me happened in high school. Shit looks like it just the wind got taken out of you, but that shit hurts. It's like internally bruised and shit, bro. Huh? You said when you played for Alabama now? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just be lying. Yeah. So you might as well keep going. <laughs> when I, play I was for just Alabama. about to say it's a, it came out as a chest <laughs> contusion. So. And those shits. I mean, that's that, way better than the alternative, but. I st- it'll still linger for a game or two, but I mean, you're going to be fine. It just hurts. That's all. Keep going, though. After I asked you what was your takeaway from the game, and then I interrupted you because I'm fired up. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> Deshaun Watson. We should have kept Baker Mayfield. You know why? I'm trying so hard not to interrupt you. Because Baker Mayfield is looking like one of the best quarterbacks. Go off, King. So Put that shit we're going to need to trade. Put that shit on. Tampa, we will give you Deshaun Watson for Baker Mayfield. Straight up. Straight up. Straight, you know what? Fuck it. Give him a second rounder. And if that doesn't work out, it's okay. Because <laughs> well, if we don't get Baker, I'm switching teams. And I'm going to be... <laughs> A Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. I know this is a Tom Brady jersey. <laughs> Fuck the Browns. Listen, bro. Fuck Deshaun Watson. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I know it's two games in the season, and I know I'm about to be a typical. Wait a minute, you still, you got, still the got the tags, tags on, on that? <laughs> I still do. We know the I don't be wear. I don't be wear. I don't be wear. It's too big for me. Let me get it. You want it? Yeah, let me get it's that. It's a Tom Brady one. He loves yeah, let me Brady. Get that. I love Brady. Sure. Hey, bro, what did I used to say the all New the time? England I'm a New England Brown. Let me get that. I'll yeah. buy it off you. We'll talk. We'll talk prices after the podcast. Right. But um, I'm gonna be a typical Browns fan and give a knee jerk reaction based off of two games. I've seen enough. Derek clipped this for TikTok. I'm done. Worst contract in sports history. Not even NFL history. Chandler Parsons, not even close. <laughs> not even close to what Deshaun did. Deshaun has officially robbed the state of Ohio. He has <laughs> robbed us, bro. And if you know anything about Ohio, we're broke. <laughs> we ain't got 230 million. I'm out on this dude. Put DTR in. Matt's prediction? Fuck it. Let it ride. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm broke. I'm done. I'm done. I thought at one point when he got sacked. And they, they they ankle, I was like, oh, here comes DTR. Listen, at this point, I want you to be right. What if, I what want if you to be came right. in and won, dude? Out? Listen. Listen, release him. <laughs> really, I don't give a fuck. Hey, Cleveland would have went crazy. I don't if care. DTR would have came in and Listen. won. Oh my God, there'd be so many delusional. <laughs> get the Sean Watson the fuck out. Like, <laughs> get him out of here. It's over. <clears throat> he, it, okay, the contract's guaranteed. We've paid quarterbacks and coaches years after they've been gone. Fuck it, just add him to the list. Get another quarterback, bro. Call Josh McCown. Call Brian Hoyer. Call Jason fucking Campbell, bro. I'm over this Negro. Cut him from the squad now. (laughs) Now, bro. I'm done. I don't ever want to see his lazy fucking eye on the sideline again. Or Or his hairline. You can join the dark side. Or his hairline. You can join the dark side. Fuck him. He's a rapist. Oh. (laughs) Facts. He's a fucking raper. We should have never signed him. Muting that part out. We got to move topics, bro. I can't do it. I'm getting fired up. I'm hot. Hey, what that about that up. deep ball that he threw that Levi Wallace? Should have fucking Yo, caught. He's right out of his bum, hands. Right out of his hands. Bum, he's a bum, period. I was cussing his ass out the whole fucking game. Uh, Mari Cooper on the sideline for the first down when it was like third and ten on their own six yard line. Yeah, yeah. Levi he just faded doesn't inside look for the and ball. left them wide open. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know. Like, what are you doing? I've seen that. He's like, liability. Bro. Yeah, he stinks. That was terrible. Hey, but I'm here to say, though, our next matchup is going to be a good game. It's gonna be a good game again. Oh, probably. It's because it's gonna, gonna be, be two honest. shit teams again. Like as you through two games right now, <laughs> this is what it is. we're the same team. We're Spider Man and bro. We are literally Spider Man and bro. Offense. Can't do it. Running game is about to be cooked for both of us. Najee looking like Trent fucking Richardson out there, bro. Not because he's black with dreads and from Alabama. It's because he can't see a fucking hole if it was a vagina in front of him. And then Jalen Warren is probably gonna take his fucking job. Neither quarterback can complete a pass. Both receiving cores are trash. It's only defense. <clears throat> Can topics, I say bro. something? I mean, I don't think the receiving cores are trash. But they're trash, bro. I don't they think can't get on the ball. Yeah, they just can't catch. Like the quarterback can't get it to them. Trash. <laughs> I'm just being. I'm. I'm being aggressive for no reason. <laughs> I Go might ahead. be one of the only people that think this. The Minka hit on Nick Chubb. I don't think it was dirty. First of all, it was not dirty. Um, but I think hits like that should be illegal. We all for the fact of like if the if you're already getting tackled, there's a dude on top of you. Don't die for the knees. Like well, that's, that's my that opinion. happened at like the same time. The dude like jumped on his back, and Minka was, Minka can't see like up there. That he's going for his back. I I think hits like that should be illegal, but it's hard not to because like Derrick Henry, for instance, yeah, or Nick Chubb, like they can't he's go so hard to tackle. Go What's he supposed to do? You're gonna get ran over. That's a safety. He like get his ass ran yeah. over. If I you think, tackle him higher, you get ran over. I don't know. I I agree you just see it, so, it was just seen so many times. Not even for just Nick Chubb, but like Gronk happened to Gronk. That happened to so many other athletes. Like, it, it's terrible. Yeah, right. It, it definitely sucks. You hate to see it. But, like, right. there's not much you can do. You can do. Unless like, you go low to, like, it was kneecap just above bad. is allowed. It was but just, like, it wasn't like he fucking put his helmet on his kneecap. You know what I mean? Right. He just dove. Like, it was like While his shoulder. It was, yeah. it was his shoulder. You know what I mean? Like, he's just trying to take his legs out. So he tackles him. Right. He. It, it's just unfortunate that. He like playing it at the same time, and somebody jumped on top to take all his weight. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like that dude jumped on top to take all his weight from him, and Minka comes down low to make the tackle, and it's just bad timing. Yep. Like I've seen way too much, way too much uh, 
Steelers are dirty. Minka's a dirty player. You blah, are. blah, blah. Shut up. You are. No, we're not. And you literally tried to take... No, I'm just fucking... <laughs> so, <laughs> real quick. Did you guys hear Joe Buck say, I'm told the replay of Nick Chubb getting injured is not to be seen on the broadcast. They and said they weren't going to show the replay <laughs> on TV. They showed it on the big board. Yeah. They never ended up really showing the injury. But this dude said, we showed DeMar Hamlin dying on the field 36 times between Burger King commercials last year. It's true. It's true. That's, I mean, yeah. Bro, how many times did they replay the DeMar Hamlin hit on TV? The thing is, is like, is we because didn't know that was extent. something. Yeah, that was something that had never been seen before in football. I but mean, remember, yeah, like, but. Booger McFarland even said after the game, he said, in my, like, 30 years of, like, watching this game, playing this game and covering it, I've never seen anything. Like, it was the uncertainty. Right. You've seen broken legs. I mean, Joe Theismann and Alex Smith – and uh, even the dude from the Bears. You remember the tight end from the Bears? Yeah. Like, oh, my God. You yes. know what I'm saying? Kevin Ware, he Gordon had Hayward, his, uh, Paul George. That dude almost, so they were worried about Nick Chubb having that same injury. They said they might have had to amputate the leg. So somebody sent that to me, and I was just like, I don't have the mental capacity to take that type of information in right now. <laughs> yeah. Please don't I follow me anymore. Uh, what? Somebody sent me, uh, it was like, Nick Chubb could possibly like lose a leg because of the main artery in your left leg. And I was like, please, don't, don't send that to me. Like, yeah, I I'm follow already a doctor on uh, Twitter that he does all sports medicine stuff. He tweets about when, you know, players yeah. get hurt and shit like that. And he was like, this Nick Chubb injury could be done for the year with, you know, just a couple torn ligaments all the way to career ending leg losing. Yeah. Like, there's a huge spectrum of what could happen. If Nick Chubb's career is over, I may turn into a heroin addict. <laughs> You tweeted that last night, and I'm like, this dude needs I help. I was in a dark place last night, Derek. We should be used to I it. I almost drove off the highway. I was in a dark place. I was listening to Marvin's room crying on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> like, Were you really? I asked yeah. him. I don't know if he was crying, but I saw <laughs> yeah, yeah, Marvin's room was crying. Marvin's room was definitely, was definitely listening. Bro. I looked like Kim Kardashian <laughs> last night, bro. If you've ever seen a Kim <clears throat> Kardashian crying face, that was me in the car. I was like... <laughs> I was doing that. Yes, bro. Next fucking topic. All right. What do we, are we more surprised by these 2 and 0 teams or these 0 and 2 teams? Are we more surprised at the Bengals and the Chargers being 0 and 2 or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Washington Commanders being 2 and 0? Matt. Uh they're both fucking crazy. It is crazy. So I don't know if one surprises me more than the other. Um I'm more surprised by like the Chargers being 0 and 2 because like the, the Bucks, the Bucks played. Two, I had them too, but I figured the Chargers would be a little better because the Bucks played Chicago. Like <sighs> that's a toss up game. The Chargers losing to the Titans is like a come on, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Facts. And I don't know what it is. Like again, Herbert didn't look bad this game. He still looked like a great quarterback. Keenan Allen had two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Like they had good games. I don't know if it's the defense that's trash. I don't know. No, you know who it but is? The head coach. Brandon fucking Staley is a trash can. Yeah. And I just want you to know. The analytics say. I want people to know this is not coming from me. The analytics. This was something on Twitter that I saved and retweeted. Yeah, I'm not even going to say it. Nope, I'm not even going to say it. Derek, go ahead. I'm not even going to say it. What? Because Derek will just cut off the part <clears throat> that you just said. Yeah, and then he'll clip it up and make it sound <laughs> fucking crazy. Go ahead, Derek. Really What's your opinion? I'm not saying it. Send it to me. I'll I say think it. it's more surprising for the Bengals and Chargers to be owned to than Commanders and Bucks because Commanders played. who they play week one? Oh, I'm trying to think. Because we had them losing. No, nah, we thought that was a lock. I'm pretty they sure. Played, oh, no, I chose them to win. I'm pretty they played sure. the Ar Arizona, right? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, okay. they played Arizona, so like they played Arizona. And, and Broncos. Broncos last year, Arizona this year. You know, you but can tell. a lot of people thought with Sean Payton, the Broncos are going to come into the season. From what really you've good. seen from the Chargers and a Bengals lot of people last not year, including me, what you saw from the Bengals and Chargers last year, you definitely thought they were going to be still contenders going into this year, right? right? You didn't right. think the commanders were going to be really anything, no. but they didn't really beat anybody. And same thing with um, the Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield beat Chicago. I chose them. I chose them back to back weeks. All right. I Who knew they beat? were going to win. They beat last week. I knew they were going to win. I don't remember, but I knew they were going to win. The Vikings. I, I was about to say it was oh, the, Vikings. Yeah, it was the Vikings. Vikings. You thought they were really going to beat the Vikings? No, I think I chose Vikings. <laughs> Just I lied. Vikings. Yeah, you no, said I, I Baker Mayfield is going to start off zero and one. That's what you said. Shit. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm more surprised by the 0-2 teams. Yeah, me too. I, I picked Cincy to win the division first off. So Who did Cincy I... play week one? <laughs> the motherfucking oh, yeah, them that's right. elves that's right. that they came out and got spanked by. Yeah, they got beat Shut by the Browns, but then they got Shut beat the by... Uh... Don't you say a goddamn fucking word. <sighs> but then they got beat by Baltimore, which is like, that's another... You know, solid team. Starting zero and two in a division is ugly. <clears throat> it definitely yeah, it's is. It start like, like it is ugly. Our and division is ugly, bro. Smoking on that Joe Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> this division is early. Yeah, or I mean ugly. it's early. It's ugly. only week two. We have fifteen weeks left. But that's gonna lead us into our let's overreact section. But I got one more topic. <sighs> what is wrong with Ohio State's very own Justin Fields? Is it I've Chicago? Seen a tweet that said my grandma can read NFL defenses faster than Justin Fields. Mm. Did you see the meme of Floyd open. Mayweather and it said Justin Fields I trying saw to read too, a defense? Jordan. This, yeah, he's wide open. Yeah, he yeah. Had, I don't know who it was. You know what he does in the slot wide open? He got sacked. He stepped up into the sack. Yeah, he got sacked. On Do that you know play. who does that? Deshaun. Every time he gets pressured, he just fucking head down. I'm like, he panics. Yeah, I'm like, he, dude, like that's he's like, I can't talk. And like, just he and if he can't get out of the pocket, it's crazy. He just, yeah, he, he has just, to like get out does free look downfield. Yeah, once he gets out free, he's some he like he'll lift his head up, but it's only for a check down. <sighs> Nigga, throw oh, the absolutely. ball away. <laughs> hey, what Jesus about uh, Christ, bro? Like what? y'all stressing me out. We got We can't talk <laughs> about this game anymore, bro. I'm sweating again. Just because he said the Okay, shot. there's one more thing I want to talk about. No! <laughs> the third, no! The third down. Ahead, it was like third and three. Deshaun was rolling out. He had a wide open lane to just oh, run the ball. Oh, he could have just jogged for a first Jogged for a first He could have walked for a first down. Why are you doing that? Because he threw it at the ground in front of him, bro. I mean, yeah, we got a defensive holding because we suck, but. He didn't want to put the effort towards. Like, what the, the fuck? Down. When he, uh, he just said, oh, we're going to get the first, down, first down. And then he threw it, and I was like, wait a second. What the fuck is he doing? Why did he throw the ball? I'm going to Because he said, we got the first down anyways. Fuck it. I ain't exerting any I'm more gonna energy. I'm going to fucking That's cry. the shit that he did. Third and three? Yeah. All right, boys. We're running short on time. Cut that shit off. Let's get to our overreaction section. So let's have a couple overreactions. Now, Bleacher Report did us a favor, and uh, they decided to bite our uh, last episode's topics because I had less overreacts. So Bleacher Report decided to uh, watch our podcast and bite our ideas. So they Fuck said, Bleacher Report. So they said, let's overreact on this wild Sunday. All right. So Bleacher Report's overreactions. And these are summer tweets from normal people, Facebook posts, shit like that. Brock Purdy will win a Super Bowl before Joe Burrow. It's not an overreaction. I can see no, that. That's it's just not, regular. That's not an overreaction. He has a better regular. team. That's not an overreaction to me at all. He has a better defense. He has a better coach. I mean, he's and looking, he's looking like an equal quarterback, up. too, right now. Yeah, and he's he's probably got equal weapons. Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Maybe maybe better. Christian McCaffrey's over Joe Mixon. Yeah. yeah. You know, Debo is more equal to, like, a T. Higgins than Joe Jamar Chase. The tight ends, though, George Kittle's much better. Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk gets forgotten about. Yeah. He's he's pretty solid. Yeah. But Oh, we forgot about him. <laughs> I don't think that's an overreaction. No, that's not. Pretty Unpopular honest. opinion. <laughs> Two is a better quarterback than Justin Herbert. <laughs> Shout out to our last week topic. <laughs> that's <laughs> that that's an that's a that's an overreaction. That's an overreaction. Absolutely. Uh, so not far, fact. I mean that's facts. So far, two has, has shown that he is slightly better, but he has, I think, better weapons. But listen, my man. boy Herbo ain't done nothing. Last game versus New England. Shout out to Mike McDaniels. Hey, why are you moving <clears throat> your fingers like Tua was? Because I was about to throw gang signs. So he does he that was, when he throws, too. It's Mike weird. McDaniels is scheming Tua perfectly to not be able to get a, another concussion. Did you see, guys see the New England game? Tua was getting the ball out. I mean, immediately. Drop back, quick slant, straight into the pocket of the receiver. And I know we all say he has Tyreek, he has this guy. But when they were running that two-minute drill, I think before halftime maybe, Tyreek really wasn't even involved in that drive. He was hitting Waddle. He hit the I tight mean, end a couple times. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You're going to say, I mean, when you have Tyreek, all the attention's on him, so it allows other receivers to get open. I understand that. But Tua still has to make those throws. And when you're throwing it that fast – the room for error is this slim because you can throw. Look how many times Kenny and Deshaun well, threw behind receivers in those tight slant windows yesterday. It's a little different because, you know, New England was playing with three deep DBs, right? Because they were playing for that <clears throat> Jalen Waddle, that Tyree Kill deep down the field. So that's the only thing that was there. That's why they ran the ball so many fucking times in the beginning. And uh, that's why all those short passes are there, too. And Matt. <laughs> 
<laughs> Matt is <laughs> Matt's a dirty dog. <laughs> He's a prairie dog. He's a prairie dog. <laughs> this is my dude next to me playing a dangerous game of Pikachu right now. <laughs> All right, next fucking topic. Next fucking topic. The Patriots, Patriots. I'm sorry. It's the gift, huh? <laughs> It says the Patriots may genuinely be the worst team in the league. No, no, in the no. league, they played two no. great no, back-to-back bro. teams. Remember, and people, be honest, these are not our the... overreactions. <laughs> these are not ours. This is from Bleacher yeah. Report. <gasps> the they were in both of those games yeah, against the Super Bowl. Like, yeah, they they're lost, clip that. but they mm-hmm. lost by what, like seven and three or some mm-hmm. shit like that. Like they were in. No, both they played. Those they is sucking that coffee down. <laughs> I'm stressed out, bro. <laughs> Like, I'm really in bad you just, shape. You just took back-to-back drinks? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Well, I, if you really want to know. Back-to-back drinks is crazy. If you really want to know, I got, like, none on the first drink. <laughs> like, literally, like, it was, like, just one drop. I was like, ever seen back-to-back drinks? Bro, I'm it's stressed like, out. I, I didn't sleep last night. Like, for real. Like, I woke up in a cold sweat. I was like, oh, God, does it really hurt? I checked my phone at 4 in the morning to see if the Nick Shep injury was real. It was real. I slept like a baby. Next fucking topic. <laughs> Dog, I slept so good. Peace. Y'all shit. gay. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. Really Just, out the community after your way. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Justin Herbert continues his <clears throat> Matt Stafford arc. Elite numbers, no clutch wins, mid results. I'd say it's 2080. I don't really know what that means, but I think he's just trying to say it's Justin Herbert, Matt Stafford before the Super Bowl. Uh, I... What? I agree to an extent with that. Like, I think that he has a lot more time to prove wrong, but so far, yeah. So he's just saying he has good stats, he's a decent quarterback, and just doesn't do anything with it. But the thing is, he said— That's more like Phillip Rivers. But the thing is, though, he—this is kind of like a— That's more like Phillip Rivers. Well, this is a contradiction, though, because as I read it, he said no clutch wins. Up until, like, two seasons ago, didn't Matt Stafford have the most, like— yeah, like yeah. most game yeah. winning drives yeah. in the NFL. And he won a Super Bowl. Next. Like it's, that's a terrible yeah, one. That's a terrible. But take. I did say though last week to he, your Phillip Rivers comment, he is the predecessor if Justin of Herbert Rivers. is Matt Stafford, <laughs> Josh Allen might be Phillip Rivers. <laughs> He's Phillip Rivers. <laughs> Next one, the predecessor. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be good after last night's game. Okay. Can we? Can we all agree Micah Parsons is the best player in the NFL? No. It's like miss me with that bullshit. Who's the best player in the NFL, Matt? Your mama. Patrick Mahomes. I mean. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I think that it's Mahomes. For I don't sure. know, but I don't think my I don't think it's Micah Parsons. It's not the answer. Like, I was when you say for. Micah Parsons. You want me to say TJ Watt? TJ Watt. <laughs> Micah Parsons <laughs> yeah. ain't even the best player on defense. Okay. Yes. He's not even the best player on that <laughs> side. Parsons isn't saying, the best player he's not even defense? the best player on that side of the ball. I'm not on saying, their team? On their team, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. I'm talking okay, about okay. defense oh, okay, okay. in the NFL. I thought you were league. talking about on their team for a second. <laughs> no, no. Okay. No. But there's no defensive player that's the best in the league anyway. Like, Pat Mahomes is the best player in the NFL. Why didn't win week one? Guys. Because quarter his receivers yes. were terrible. You got more? I got two more. Oh, okay. Three more. I lied. We'll make them quick. <clears throat> Sean Payton is the worst coach ever. Fuck yeah. Ever. He said ever, bro. <laughs> Hugh uh, Jackson no. is still alive, no, bro. He's not the worst coach. <laughs> he's not the worst coach ever. In the league right Terrible. now. Terrible. If you uh, had to rank uh, him right now. Investigate him, bounty gate right now. Bro. Out of all 32 head coaches, there's 32 teams, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I always confuse basketball football. Is there 32 teams? 32. Is 32 on both? No, no 30, 30 in NBA. 30 that's what I thought. Basketball. Okay, that's what I thought. That's yeah. why I fuck it up. Um, where do you rank him around? Y'all can look at each other in unison and giggle all you fucking want. I don't care what nobody say. Ozzy Newsom and Otto Graham is the same person. Yeah, Anyways. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. All right, go on. We talked about it a lot. Yeah. Time. Where do you rank him out of all 32 head coaches right now? Probably 25. 25? Yeah, he's in the bottom. He's bottom 10. Yeah, he's definitely in like that 20 to 30 range, I would say. You know we can't even name all 32? No, okay. hell no. Us. Uh, Bro, there's can't. players in the NFL that can't name all 32. The Kelsey's. <gasps> now nah, you remember when we were looking yeah. at the pictures and we were like, Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Did they try? Yeah, on their podcast, the Kelsey's tried to name every single head coach. <laughs> <they> <laughs> <couldn't>. <laughs> all right. So I don't feel as bad then. For my favorite overreaction, Baker. <laughs> Zach Wilson can't play dead in a horror movie. Facts. Facts. <laughs> I know Jordan agrees with that one. Facts. And next one. Who said that? Uh, Shannon Sharp? 
Yeah. I, I don't know who said yeah, it. Yeah, he did. I think Shannon said it. Okay. Yeah. Uncle Shannon. Next one. Shay Baker Shay. is Skill. taking the Buccaneers to the NFC Skill. championship. I don't know about Skill. the championship, but he's Skill. making the playoffs. You think he's going to win NFC South? He's going to the playoffs, the way it looks baby. Right now, they'll probably they ain't win winning South. no championships. The conference Division, championship? conference, nothing. None Division, nothing? Shit, they might. They if their win. defense plays good and Baker plays what he did the with Division, the Browns. Bro. Okay. He has, I mean, a, he has a similar team when the Browns went 11 and 5. A pretty good defense and good skill positions all around him. We're two games in the season. <laughs> not happening. Okay. Go, well, Baker. I've talked enough and I'm still sad. So go ahead, Jordan, take over. Uh, real quick, going back to Justin Fields. Mm-hmm. I found a tweet about him. This cat loves going back to Justin Fields. He does. Like, I don't he's, even want to no. let him finish just because he's a he Michigan fan. He started 27 games in the NFL, he's 5 and 22. Now, these aren't all against him because he's been sacked 101 times, and that's not always his fault because obviously you can step up into a sack and that be your fault. But his line hasn't been good. He has a completion percentage of 59.8, 26 touchdowns, 24 interceptions, and 31 fumbles. You know who I've seen uh, they compared him to and statistically, and they showed all of his numbers, and it really hurt my feelings. To see. Marcus Russell? Yep. Yeah, I've seen it too. And it was identical. It hurt. Um, the worst part minutes. about it is he ran for a thousand last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, In the first two games, he's only ran thirteen times. That's what it is, dude. They're they're trying to make him something he's not. Yeah, you just gotta let him lose. Just let him dude, just let him do his thing. If he wants to run, fucking let him run. <clears throat> yep. Ran for a thousand yards last year, um, and that's why they were winning games. He was running. Yep. He was keeping plays alive, keeping games alive with his legs. Um, do we want to Jesus do Christ. a quick draft? Uh, no draft. research we involved really don't have just off the top. No, I guess why I said quick. Don't we have to do our pickums? We do have to do our pickums. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If Aaron Rodgers comes back from his Achilles injury for the playoffs, I'll start doing every drug that he does. Fire. Jesus Christ. Fire. All right, well, we will not do a draft. Any final notes before we end the episode? Sorry, guys, it was a quick episode. Unfortunately, we were running short on time. I know. I wish we had so much hey, more time. And to the dude that had uh, said, you know, when you say, all right, whatever, you lost the argument. Bitch, we were on the time crunch. Fuck out of here, dork. I'm tired of TikTok. You know, bro. that's why I added in there. Yeah, of At course. the end, you say, all right, whatever. I'm like, perfect. It looks like I won the argument. Right. And he's just like, you know, you <laughs> lost the argument. Or we just agreed to disagree. Absolutely. And like the argument wasn't, is Tua better than Justin Herbert? The argument no, was, is Tyree. Justin Herbert overrated? Yeah. And he got outplayed by Tua and in that, that like, particular those game. Two Clips just got like entangled. Exactly. Together. That's why y'all niggas don't fucking listen. Y'all Whoa. just quick to fucking get the Twitter fingers going, and Whoa. you don't fucking listen to the actual Whoa. content. Fuck y'all. I'm Whoa. on fire today, bro. Shout Whoa. out to Josh Allen. I'm hot. Leads the league in turnover since 2018. Shout Phillip, out Josh Allen. Philip Rivers. Shout out to Dion Sanders. Um, any final notes? Y'all want to go ahead and uh, oh yeah, shout out to Dion, bro. Oh yeah, we didn't even get to touch on Colorado. Fuck Colorado State and hey. that bum ass number eleven. Yeah, that that was fucked up. Now talk about a dirty hit. But Minkus was not a dirty see, hit. That was a dirty hit. Did you see hit. what Travis Hunter said about it? What did he say? He said, you get smacked sometimes, bro. He did what he was supposed to do. He went out there and he hit me. I ain't mad about it. Yeah, but that don't nah. make it That don't make it not don't a dirty hit. Right. 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 No, said. but like he ain't like, you know what I mean? Some people There's get real some, mad about it. And like his, that dude's family is getting death threats and shit. Well, like, you know, fans, cool. are, fans are crazy, bro. Like, bro, that shit yeah. ain't cool. I mean, Eli Apple's yeah. baby mom was calling for him to die. Dante was crying last night. Fans are just wild. Bro, you ain't never cried after a game? I'm just no. messing with you. Have you ever cried after an NFL game? Clip that for TikTok, Gary. <laughs> I cried last night. I don't think I have. Dude. I, I played I Marvin's cry. room. I got, I got, I got stuffy got, when Ben was sitting on the bench with a when he's he bouncy house. Oh. Hey, I was so so like, yeah. about that. <laughs> hey, man, like, God damn it, I have. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Well, I'm going to keep rooting you, bro. Last night was rough for me, man. I almost drove my fucking Bronco off the highway. Closest time for me was Chad Henney fucking getting us out of the playoffs. <laughs> Or Sorensen doing the helmet to helmet, and that didn't get called. We've had a lot yeah, of heartbreaking was, moments as Browns fans. Yeah, imagine losing a Super Bowl. Okay, real quick. Imagine us not it. even being able to fucking make okay, it. Okay, hold on, real quick. Last, last topic before we get out of here. Most heartbreaking moment as a fan. Go. Steelers fan. You just said it. Go. Say it again. No, you go. No, you go. Oh, uh, actually, mine's not losing in the Super Bowl. Jesse James called it. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I thought you were going to say Ryan bro. Ryan Chazier was bad, yeah. I didn't know the extent of it at that time. Though. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I didn't know sure. that he would never come on the field again. Yours is Jesse James, too? That, he, he was dude, that shit field. hurt. 
He was what? Shout out to Kate McNamara. He was what? <laughs> he said that I would never field. come on the field. He would never come on the field again. Come on to the field again. Yours is Jesse James too? Yeah. Do you have another one? Give like me a number two. One just for, just number for two? TikTok. Sake. I don't know if I have another one. Um, oh, that's terrible. It was 1996, and the Steelers were playing the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. And I was like seven, eight years old. My parents let me stay up all night to watch the game. And we fucking lost, and I cried. <laughs> I was negative four years old. <laughs> negative four. <laughs> negative four? When were you born? 2000. You say 98? 96. 96. Oh, my God, you're old. Chill out. What's yours, Derek? <laughs> <laughs> you, said I was eight. you got a lot to choose from. You got a lot to choose from, Derek, so go ahead and pick. Um, the most recent is not Nick Chubb, but the uh, Sorensen hit on Higgins, right? Mm-hmm. And then Chad Henney just... What the fuck? Fuck you guys. What the fuck? Mike Beasley, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to keep real with you, bro. Mine was last night, man. I, I was at a low point last night, bro. I tweeted that I was going to do heroin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going the whole season 0-16, but your weakest moment was a guy but getting hurt. Because the 0-16 season, I didn't have expectations. Hugh Jackson was still leading. I know. This year is just different, but it's still the fucking same. <laughs> so is one in sixteen as bad as zero in sixteen? You trying to say we were going one in sixteen this year? I'm just saying if you hypothetically did, is that better <laughs> or fuck? worse than zero? They 16? did that back to back. We went one in fifteen, so they yeah, went but no, 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 I'm saying like you have the one win, but still sixteen losses. Got, so I get what you're saying, but to what he said, we've already done that. Back to back. We went like they four went like and one in thirty five or some shit. Yeah, it was, yeah. Hugh Jackson was one in thirty five in a two year span. But yeah, my lowest moment as a sports fan was definitely last night watching Nick Chubb get caught off the field. Like when he was about to cry, I was about to you cry. You can yeah. Like me and Derek was like, go ahead and cry, big fella. It's okay. If he would have shed a tear, I might I might have cried on stream. Yeah, I was bad. I might have cried on stream. They ruined Stop the whole mood. Fucking laughing. <laughs> All right, guys, that's, that's, that's that enough. That's enough. Okay. That's all. As we'll talk we to you guys next week. On, Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. All the times we <laughs> had together. <laughs> it has our lives Why? changed. <laughs> 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 we will still be.